Good morning, everybody. You are watching the breakout of the Q&A session. This is one of the specific questions that was asked. So if you're looking for the answer to just that question, you can watch just this video. If, on the other hand, you want to watch the entire Q&A session, which has a lot more feedback from the live audience, just click here and you can watch that entire video. Let's see here. This question, ah, this is a good, this is interesting. So Cuts says, um, I just got my GH5 and I love it. One thing I've noticed is that in PAL 50 hertz, you can only shoot in 25 or 50p in either 4K or 1080p. Would be great to be able to shoot in the 2398p in NTSC and also the 60p in 4K. I'm based in the UK and edit in Final Cut Pro. Can I still use NTSC footage? So then I asked if he was using the camera for broadcast, he or she, cuts, was using the camera for broadcast or just for internet use. And they elaborated, internet use. Okay, so let's, this is two part question. First of all, why can't I shoot in 2398 when I am in PAL mode? And the reason for that is it's, it's math. So PAL is 25 hertz, 25p. NTSC is 29.97 hertz, or 29.97 frames per second. And uh, cinema is 24.00 hertz, not 23.98. So there's math for this. Let me, uh, let's see, can I do it? Yeah, let me just pull this back up here. So if I go 29.97 and I divide that by 23.976, which is what 23.98 really is, it's actually 23.976, see the math? Nice and easy, 1.25, it's one and a quarter. That's easy math to do. If I was to change this out by to 25 hertz, suddenly it's 1.04279376, and that is not a number that the camera can just throw away every fourth frame or do anything reasonable with it. So that doesn't work. 29.97, on the other hand, does. This is why 29.97 is not, uh, sorry, 29.97 shooting in 23.976 is not the same as shooting 24. 24, again, the math doesn't work. So it just comes down to math. It's the differences in the in the frequency and how they're divided, frames are divided, yada, yada. So if you want to shoot in 2398, which is what it's commonly called, although the actual number is 23976, you have to be in NTSC mode. Same with 5994. If you want to shoot in what is commonly called 60p, but is actually 59.94 uh, frames per second, which is, let's go back to this real quick, which is 29.97 times two. See again, there's that math, 59.94 frames per second, commonly called 60p, not 60p, difference. Uh, you need to be in that NTSC mode. Likewise, if you want true cinema 24, not 23976, but true 24 frames per second, you have to be in the 24 hertz mode to get the pure 24. The camera has to reboot when it does that. So let's just show you how that looks. You go in, oops, wrong one. You go into the main setting mode here, and I think it's on the, it's not on the first page. There it is, third page down, system frequency. You can choose between 59.94 NTSC, 50 hertz PAL, or 24 hertz cinema. And when you change it, It'll say this from frequency has been changed. Please turn the camera off and back on again. And you have to power cycle the camera for that to happen. It just basically reboots. Now that I've done that, I got to turn it off and back on and get me back into NTSC. So that's the why. Now, the second part of the question was because I was asking, well, you're shooting in the UK, but what are you using the footage for? If you're shooting for broadcast, meaning you are going to put it on television, then you have to shoot in the regional format. So UK is PAL, 25 frames. That's what you have to be. So you have to shoot 25 or 50, that's it, right? Or, I mean, you can shoot other frame rates and then conform and so on, but if you wanna go straight to broadcast, that's what you have to do. If, however, you're shooting for the internet, the internet don't care. YouTube does not care what your frame rate is, which is a wonderful thing. So no matter where you are, if you live in a PAL country, you can still shoot in NTSC. If you like the look of 25 or 50 frame per second you, and you live in the US, you can set your camera to PAL and shoot that way. Uh, YouTube doesn't care. So you can set it to whatever you like. So that was the, the important revelation for this person. Now, this individual also said that their Canon gave you all the modes in one. I don't know why the Canon doesn't reboot like the Panasonic does to bring those up, but it's still the same idea. It's still shooting in a fraction of those base frame rates. That's, that's just how that works. Which is why you don't have just totally random, oh, I'm going to set my camera to shoot at 13.94 frames per second. Can't do that. Okay, so that is the answer to that question.